In a world searching for gaming knowledge comes the man, the myth, a legend in his own mind, Critical. Welcome back, guys and gals. Critical here. Today I'm bringing you another episode of Tainted Grail Conquest, the game I just can't stop playing. Now, I did do a couple quick runs off camera, just trying to figure some stuff out. And I'm noticing that I'm playing things the wrong way. Kind of like a bull in a china shop. I'm kind of charging in and just throwing my head around, which actually, if you've ever watched Mythbusters, bulls don't do. But I am doing it. And yeah, it's getting me killed. Sometimes I'm able to deal with it enough to, to finish a boss or, t or two, but it's uh, it's just not doing what I need it to do. Um, Specifically when it comes to the Sentinel, this is the Archer class. The so when I, hard at work. yes, as usual, when I come over here, I usually buy the rune stones that hit for one uh, one hit for five damage at the end of every turn. And then I like to get the one that gives me like that first card. And uh, yeah, first turn of combat, draw one additional card and the cost reduced by one. They are really good. But when it comes to this class, I honestly think the best things I could do. Do I have the one that gives me 10 armor? No, I don't. So this class really can use armor and it really needs the armor. So I think for my armor slot, I'm going to buy that one. And I can still grab this and then later put it in my armor for uh, the heal. All right. Um, yeah, this is for armor. That very first round, 75 armor. Now when I play that card that... Um, takes your armor and then gives you uh, a percentage of barrier, I'll get a much better barrier. Now, in other classes, your barrier lasts until your barrier lasts. For this class, Agile Movement, all barriers only last one turn. If you start a turn with negative armor, gain barrier equal to 50% of the missing armor. Oh, I never read that. So I want something to give me negative armor so that I start with 50% uh, barrier all the time. Well, darn, there's an idea I didn't think about. Try to get negative armor. I don't know how one would do that, but... Ah, uh, good to see you. Yep, yep, yep. 26. Nope. I want to wait till I get 100. That's what I'm spending over here. Um, I don't think manipulating the cards is going to do me any good. I just used all my gold up and I don't have enough card shreds to do anything with yet. Soon I will. Soon. Soon, he says. So I need to pay attention to what the cards are actually doing. I also didn't understand the idea that this class has cards in it that have two, uh, two functions. See, when I use this card... The yeah, it has what's called a flip. Are you gonna let me see the flip, or do I have to do it this way? Ah. So bow draw card that has many states. It flips to uh, after flight. Okay, gain twenty five percent damage for three turns. The next time you see it, it's gonna be flipped. This turn, gain a hundred percent damage. Lose twenty five armor for three turns. Oh my god. I wasn't playing this because it was a two cost card and I really was trying to figure it out. There's my negative armor for three turns. And that's three turns of negative armor, which means every time. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. I might have even started this, this run with the, the wrong room, but that's okay. I think we're going to try it the way that it is for a few, but I am learning. I'm paying, I'm paying better attention. Um, well, that's free, free, free. We're going to use the fence. See, gain 10 armor and then barrier equal to 100% of your armor. So 75 barrier, but the enemy isn't even attacking. But I wanted to try. I want to see if it if it would do everything. 
What's... Oh, I was actually trying to do something else there, but that's okay. I wanted to see what its other... When it comes up, what its other ability is. I guess we'll see that when it comes along. Though this enemy is not going to survive much longer. All right, now I have no armor. And I didn't get the one... Yeah, gain 10 armor this turn, then gain barrier. So I can get armor again and get barrier. Okay. Didn't need to do that. He wasn't attacking me. Yeah, I'll play it. It's fine. He does his thing. And I don't have any. Ah, but here's the one. I mean, this is, pr I'm probably going to finish you here, but. Stun you so you ain't doing anything. When I kill you, you're gonna split. I'll have to deal with your splits. Oh, no, you didn't because you were. Oh, he was stunned. And because he was stunned, I got to bypass his splits. Awesome. Um, Multi shot random enemy for, for each arrow in hand. Ooh, that could be nice. Can I see the flip state? Oh, yes, I can. Random enemies for damage increased one for each arrow in hand. Oh, 10% and then 25%. Okay. I was like, what's the difference here? Hello? Multi-shot all enemies for 100% for a negative 50% damage. So only half your damage, okay? Draw two arrows, gave 30 armor for three turns. I like that. Four charges. I mean, it gives me a way to get and keep armor. Well, not, yeah, for keeps it around for a few turns. Each hit has 10% chance to deal 50% more damage. Quick draw on the first turn of combat, draw two additional arrows. Protective force, draw an additional arrow, increase your armor by five this turn. Well, that's a way to always have some armor. Draw one extra arrow and get five armor. Hmm. Do I want to go aggressive with critical hit? I'll go protective force. I think this time. And I'm going to stay, I'm going to stay away from these until I actually need them because I learned something with those too. Now I think getting this deep into it I'm going to have to pop my candle just so that my weir cards aren't so bad. Multi-shot. Okay, so I still got arrow storm. So it's full stun an enemy. I'm not going to do 60, 60 damage to you. Gain 10 barrier. Let's drop this. I have 112 barrier. Now, there is a passive, I believe, that allows you to keep 25% of the barrier that you have. Don't quote me on that. I've never seen it, but I think there is. I could have sworn I saw something about that. Um, Two energy... Lose 25 armor for three turns. So next, well, no, I'm going to be gaining armor because, yeah, I've, now I'm trying to play this gain armor, lose armor thing, and now I'm gaining armor, so. Phantom's Aid. And... I'll go ahead and stun you but I'm still gonna concentrate on you. Don't have to, but I want to, because I'm gonna burn you down as fast as possible. Okay, so I'm back now to zero armor and lost all that faint. So I didn't draw a card, didn't I have? Draw additional arrow, increase your armor by five this turn. Oh, is that only the very first turn? Hmm. 
so I can cast that one for some protection. And then if I cast this, it gives me more protection, but it will cost some more energy. I've already got the 10, so I don't think I can do that again. Maybe I'm wrong, but break you down a little bit more. Let's grab some arrows out. Smoke so that you're stunned. Decent. Oh, and that little phantom that, that you summon into fire as well, it hits your enemy for 50% of the damage that you just hit. Hit it for. All right. Of your current armor, and I have no armor, so that won't work. All right. In this case, I'm going to cast that. This one. Draw an arrow. Give myself two block. Unfortunately, I have to... Almost. Almost. Oh, wait a second. As I say, he's on zero. He should be dead. Go ahead. Cast your heal on nothing. Now you just want to attack. Ah, uh, whatever. So I automatically get barrier because I have 25. Yeah, now I kind of wish I could get rid of this protective force. Um, gain 10 armor. Well, the problem is I have negative armor so that the either, neither one of these, I think will do me any good, but I can gain, uh, 30 armor. Cast that, cast that to get some more. Stun. I'm gonna do it. Ah, so it actually, it doesn't, yeah, it, it just, boom, puts it all the way up to 30. Ah, good to know. And might as well. Ah, oh, I didn't think it was, I thought it was gonna take him out, but it didn't. Well, uh, 10 barrier, I'll take the 10 barrier. Grab a little bit of protection. He's not going to hit me anyways, but. Uh, I'm still not learning it very well. It didn't take me a couple of runs, I think, with this class to uh, figure out. Uh, cursed healer. I don't need to talk to you yet. See, I'm trying to better utilize the resources on the map and doesn't mean just because I open somebody up doesn't mean I have to talk to them right away. I'm still not seeing where I'm getting this addi draw an additional error, increase your armor by five this turn. Protective force. It's not happening hmm. to look at it between fights, I guess. Well, he's only coming in. He's coming at me for two. That's free, so I might as well cast it. Let's weaken you up because I want to make sure that you die before you do your things. Oh, should use that at the beginning. Want to done more uh, damage to you. I mean, there's, I think the only reason to cast this would be to flip them, but I like that the, that I've got one of each available. All right. We need that. And we're going to release all of them at random. That should fire all the arrows that I have. Let's pull that out. Oh, I can't do that now because, oh, well. Uh, stun you to avoid damage. Perfect. Well, not perfect. I didn't expect him to die because I wasn't paying attention to that. 8 to 10. That deals with the attack you're going to make. Deal as many arrows as I can. I mean, this class can be really quick. 
because this release, 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 release. Eight to ten again. Now where that that additional chance to do additional uh, uh, damage might be nice. And as long as I don't have to worry about him attacking, if I can keep stunning him, then armor doesn't really matter. For the longer, harder fights, it will, though. Okay. Deal one hit for 150. Ooh, sharp shot. Nice. Upshot's kind of nice, too. Gain 30 armor for four turns. What's the... It's got three flips. Two, gain 30 armor. Oh. Swift movement, fast movement, desperate movement. So play this and you get 30 armor. Oh, am I playing a full-on defensive game though? Or... Um, let's see. I've already got several maneuver cards. Close quarters combat. 30 armor for three turns. I feel as though I need some more attack, so I'm going to grab that one, I think, this time. Maybe that's wrong. Maybe I don't know... Ruined home. Okay, this one I can go into. Don't have to wait on that. Like, there's no reason to go to the healer yet. I'm still at full health. Of a home. For full health. Look for valuables. I've done those. Let's look in, your, you in the right. Nothing. The house changes again. I'm going to look to the door to the right again. Oh, nice. I got a blood candle. Sacrifice 10% of your max HP to light a wear, wear candle. So it's a wear candle, but you have to uh, give up some HP for it. Okay. And... Oh, I thought I picked up some runes, but I guess I didn't. But it's sworn I said I picked up some runes. Oh, there were pages. Okay. And light. Power changes depending on your wear candle's burn level. So a high wear candle and he's three times one, which means he ain't doing much. All right. Let's pop that so I've got barrier up. Grab that, my phantom, my shadow shot. really need something that'll chain where for every shot that I've done I'm getting grab some more stun you just so I don't have to worry about you nice ah uh, two points of damage for that shot yeah I'll gain some extra damage this turn why not I gain extra damage for the next three. Leaves me vulnerable. I'm going to take 11-15. No, I'm not. I will block it. Smoke bomb stops you from doing what you want to do. Don't need to play any of those. They're not going to do me any good at this point. Do that. Um, what's this going to do? Six to ten, eight hits, so 80 points of damage. Actually, this will finish you off. Oh, that was nice. All right. I'm trying to figure this out. Um, 
Yeah, another one with 75% armor beginning. So yeah, me getting that 75% armor at the beginning. Oh, confident princess. There are old customs priestess, that protect the traveling priests of the All Mother. The one you see before you, walking through the weirdness at a brisk, confident pace, doesn't seem to realize or care that this protection is unlikely to extend here. I have a bouquet. Is this bouquet yours? You show her the bouquet you received from the florist. This is probably the most disgusting thing I've seen in my <laughs> life, and trust me, I've seen a lot. Please take it away. <laughs> um, I guess not. And I really don't need to be healed, but... Oh, risk of a combat Before encounter? You a chance to ask her for anything, something leaps out of the weirdness. Hey, impromptu combat. Okay, I'll take it. All right, Mindbender. Yeah, the illusions, and you're attacking everybody. Only for two damage, because I have high armor right now. Stun an enemy. Let's uh, stun you. Grab my phantom arrow. Well, that's free, so I might as well cast it. Waking you up. But I don't have any attacks to use on you. I've got the energy. But no way of using my energy. Cast it again. Even though I don't get to keep any of it. Might as well. That hurts. Every time that just disappears, that really, really hurts. Phantom. We can hopefully kill. There we go. Start working on you and stun you so you can't summon. 30 armor for the next couple turns. That works. Get myself 60 barrier on top of it. Yeah, that can be that can be pretty quick right there. Yeah, I'm going to block it, buddy. Grab my phantom. Getting barrier that blocks everything, which didn't really need because you weren't doing anything with it. But I'm going to cast that one. And goodbye. So sad. Praise the mother. I'm glad you're here. Press increase. Awesome. I want to settle this once and for all. If all mother is still with us, she will protect me. If not, I'd rather die anyway. Now let me be on my way and you go on yours with my blessing. Reluctantly, she reveals that she went into the weirdness of her own free will. Ever since we landed on Avalon, I've seen so much evil. Men killing each other for a slice of bread. Parents drowning their children so that their cries don't draw a weird spawn. It's... It's so hard to believe the mother still watches over us. I'm on a pilgrimage, trying to visit all of the shrines raised throughout these lands in the name of the All-Mother. You realize that with the world being in constant flux, stuck between various times and realities, her pilgrimage will probably never end. You tell her that since your journey will take you to various places anyway, you might as well help out. Yeah, I think that's... You can see that she's exhausted, but grateful. Here, it's an incense blessed by the High Priestess. Use it to perform a ritual at all of the All Mother's altars you can find. Mm, cool. And hope that... In time, we'll be able to purify and shield them from corruption. I'm too far away from the altar to cast spells like that. I can give you some oh, potions nice. or teach you a certain technique, though. It's your choice. Um, Potions are a technique. It's a legendary spell. I think I'll take the legendary spell. It might be helpful come boss time. Yep, I've seen this one and in somebody else's uh, stream. 
So yeah, a hundred creates a hundred barrier um, for two on two charges. Unfortunately, I didn't think about it. This is this will be useful like in that worst case scenario. But for this character, since I give up barrier every time of turn ends, it's not as useful, unfortunately. But maybe that barrier will... No, it won't stay because it's my class dictates the, the barrier. Um. Okay, you need to be stunned as much as possible. You just need to be killed. I'll take the extra damage. I've got one cast I can make. I don't really need this right now, but I have nothing else to cast, so I might as well. All right. Smoke you. Let's do as much damage. Oh, yeah, I should negative armor on you. Do as much damage as possible on you. Uh, two to three. No, not enough. Might need that later. Okay. Use I'm trying to think what do I want to cast? Cast that and we'll cast that one. Break your armor some more, so I'm doing more damage. Ah, uh, almost enough to take you out. Well, I mean, it'll take him out, but I wanted it to take out. I want to do more damage to him. I've got two block. I'll just go ahead and sit on it. All right. Did I? I did not get. So I want to draw arrows. Hopefully get a stunning arrow. So let's do that one first. Didn't get a stunning arrow. Pull that one out. This will fire off all my arrows randomly. But let's go ahead and do it. Ooh. Okay, I like that card a little bit better now. <laughs> that was impressive. Well, at least at this low level, playing around with this class. 50 damage and stun the enemy. Oh, not bad. Draw one maneuver. Oh, so you cast this and you bring up a maneuver. You get one of these. Okay. And then what's the next? Draw two maneuvers, reduce their energy cost by one. Draw three maneuvers, reduce their energy cost by two this round. Retreat tactics. Gain 50 barrier. Deal one hit for 50 damage, gain 25 barrier. Deal three hits for 150 damage to random enemies. Each time it's a single. I like that one. I think I'll take that one. Increase ultimate ability damage by 25%. And um, every turn, draw one additional arrow. Increase phantom's damage by 25%. So that would mean that my phantom, who always fires after I do, instead of doing 50%, 50% damage will do 75% damage. Yes. I almost want to put that in. Like, I really want to put that in. A couple times now, that would have helped. Yeah, I think I will. The 75 damage one. Okay, but... It the scientist, yes. You enter a small glade, quite unique in the way its grass reflects the surrounding weirdness. You see dozens of jars overflowing with a strange liquid. They're filled with a variety of different monstrous body parts. Then you notice a woman who is taking pieces out of some of the jars and placing them into Ooh, others. Empty jar. You get really close before she raises her head. I'm, I'm terribly sorry. I didn't notice you approach. She points at her face. You realize that one of the young woman's eyes is made of glass. Glass? 
a rare material, especially in this world ravaged by war. Sight-related issues. She chuckles nervously and takes an enormous hand out of one of the jars. She starts scratching her head. Welcome to my dominion, the altar of knowledge, as I call it, as this is the place where knowledge is born. Many of my potions are still in development, I admit, but Ooh, I think potions. I could give you a very special potion in exchange for the most valuable component you could provide me with. <laughs> Gold, of course. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> I'm a scholar in training. I've devoted my life to two things, gathering knowledge and performing experiments. But when I think about it, it's one and the same thing. Experiments help in expanding my... I, <laughs> I apologize. I I tend to spiral within my thoughts when I'm hungry. I, I think I haven't eaten for a week now. She continues like that for a while before she catches your gaze. Master Iron always took care of such things. He remembered about food and other <laughs> earthly things, but... He, you know, he, he disappeared. Yeah, because I didn't want to buy the potion and lose the chance of inviting her to the village. She considers your offer. But will I be able to continue my research? Back, back home people weren't very keen about my, my approach to science. You nod, hoping that you won't regret this decision. Then show me the way. Scientist. Awesome. Well, it's getting to be that time again. Oh, one thing I want to bring up. If you do have to leave the game, like, you know, go take care of something and come back, your candle is sitting here. It's not burning. It only burns in combat turns and when you're moving around the map. I could stand here and let the game just sit here for a day and the candle would never burn down. All right, I'm going to go ahead and call the episode here. I've been critical. This has been Tainted Grail Conquest. I hope you guys have enjoyed this content. If you have, drop a like, consider subscribing, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Bye.